Wir sind wieder hier. Der Nocebo spielt immer noch dieses Wolfsspiel. Ähm, der Crooked Man ist ein Rabe. Äh, das war jetzt ein Pseudo-Spoiler. Oh nein. Oh nein. I'm going. Jesus. Was? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. <sighs> shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah, sure. I couldn't That's take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B, where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye? Es ist. drückt irgendwie ein bisschen auf die Stimmung gerade. Hi. Hi. Saying hi. You're still wearing Not goodbye. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. Let me help. Big B, I. I know you're trying to help, but this is just something I need to do on my own, okay? Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. <clears throat> what is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then, 
Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Du musst rauchen. Thank you. Du musst rauchen. Can you see now's family guy? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? Oh. I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I, I tried to warn that. Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Nerissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make Isn't things right. So you and wouldn't. Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. And at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done something here. <sighs> You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah, super. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Bitte, bitte, schreibt mir irgendwer von den drei Leuten, die dieses Video anschauen, in die 
Kommentare, was war die letzte Entscheidung? Ich habe es nicht verstanden. Äh, Statistik, äh, ja, 68% haben ihn getötet, 89% haben ihn tatsächlich lebendig zurückgebracht. Das wäre ein schnelles Ende gewesen wahrscheinlich. Auch hier äh, in der Unterzahl äh, eingesperrt. Natürlich, wer kann TJs Gift nicht akzeptieren? Huff, huff, huff. Euch Special Stats. Da gibt es ja noch richtig interessante Sachen. Bluebeard, you fought him, aha, and her Hashen. Ja, pff. erschrocken. Der Abspann, den haben wir jetzt aber schon fünfmal oder so gesehen. Ähm, ach, guck mal, da links unten stand unser Name auf dem Telefon. War jetzt langsam, müsste zurückgespult. Äh, ja, das war das Spiel. Das war das Spiel, ja. Ich bin begeistert. Ach, hier, Pick Up Graphic Novels. De, den mit dem Tiger hab ich und den in der Mitte hab ich und die anderen noch nicht. Ähm, so. Ja, was gibt's zu sagen? Grandiose Spiel auf jeden Fall. Story super geil. Ich weiß nicht, was Entscheidungs, tralala. Und ab und zu kam mir das so vor, als ob das völlig egal war, ob ich jetzt da die hier die eingeleuchteten Tasten, die heißt Quicktime-Events, ähm, richtig gemacht habe, weil irgendwie, wenn ab und zu LT, also Schultertaste hätte gewollt, habe ich immer RT gedrückt. Ich kam ja doch irgendwie lebend durch. Nur oh ja. Ähm, also der Erste, der hier das alle, alle Teile angeschaut hat und dann natürlich unseren Kanal abonniert hat, alles geliked hat und kommentiert, der kriegt einen imaginären Cookie von mir. Der soll uns seine Nachricht schreiben, dann male ich ihm einen und schicke ihn per JPEG. Genau. Ähm, wir sehen uns wieder bei meinem nächsten Let's Play. Was das wird, weiß ich ehrlich gesagt noch nicht so ganz. Ähm, bei dem einen fehlt mir noch die Genehmigung vom Publisher, beim anderen ist noch gar nicht draußen. Deswegen verabschiede ich mich hier, euer Nocebo. Immer noch stimmlich angeknackst. Ich hoffe mal, bis zum nächsten Let's Play wird es besser, weil das ist ja nervt euch genauso wie mich. Mit diesen total aufbauenden Worten verabschiede ich mich und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Bis dann!